Hello everyone, I am Kishal Jain. This is our program. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. So we know the situation in India is very bad, right? And uh, you know, whenever I see my Twitter Twitter feed, I see a lot of tweets regarding uh, you know, requirement of oxygen beds, injections, and uh, you know the people who are suffering from crisis basically. So, so I thought let's make something which may be useful to the needy one. And uh, so uh, I thought of uh, something related to a Twitter bot. Basically, what the project will do is. uh the project will search for some keywords over twitter like, you know the keywords will be predefined by, by us like covid 19 or maybe uh corona india fights corona or corona virus or whatever tweets are required for uh, need to be you know retweeted so our bot will retweet and like that particular tweet tweet and it will help increase the reach of that tweet that's what the project is going to do the bot is going to do and it will definitely help to add a project in your resume which will which which will cause an impact eventually right so make sure to add this project complete this project and add it to your resume so so why i actually chose twitter is because uh, people over there are you know supporting a lot because I, i'm really active these days uh, these days on twitter and people over there are tweeting about the help and if you are from india you might have uh, came across a website as well where you can you know write the city names along with some filters that you uh, that you need verified resources or not you need oxygen or injections and then you will find a list of tweets where such information is being shared over twitter right so uh, and uh, yesterday also sprinkler a very big company has also created a dashboard which will provide you real time information related to oxygen beds and sorry beds and oxygen injections and plasma as well so i thought let's build something uh, which may help people out there and uh, Uh, it it will def- since we we all belong to a technical background it will help us as well to grow to learn new things let's jump right into the computer screen and if you haven't watched the previous video about product based companies do watch it the second part of that video will come tomorrow probably so let's get started before we start we need to have a few things first of all a test twitter account that i have already created in order to interact with the twitter api i have named it like 8 covid 19 retweet now you have to go to um, Twitter developer account so Twitter developer account on the internet and click on apply for access apply for developer account it will automatically sign you in with the you know current account now what you have to do you need to do a few steps like this hobby is making a bot then get started uh so what would you like to uh, us to call you so you can call me kush what country do you live in i live in india and what's the current coding skill that although it doesn't matter but okay i don't want updates but next so how you are going to use this twitter data basically you have to write minimum 200 words so write something like this uh, hey i want to use twitter api for educational purposes purposes and to spread awareness among the masses and this copy paste the same line twice so you will okay so thank you right so the criteria is fulfilled now you have to know we are not going to analyze twitter data yes i'll use this app to do all these stuff now copy the above thing again over here do you plan to display tweets or aggregate data mm. uh we know we don't uh no we don't will product service and content try and all of it so we'll, no we don't go to next <coughs> all this is done next you have to some agree with some policies and stuff mm-hmm. submit application and your now it's time to verify your email uh you'll get a you know code at your email i have registered this particular email i'll, uh, I'll verify it from that So after you click that verification link, you will be re- redirected to this page. Now you have to go to pro- products and apps overview and create an app. Now name your app something like this: COVID nineteen help. And you have your API key and everything. Go to a- uh, app settings. First of all, change the app permissions to read and write because we'll be retweeting as well. Now go to keys and tokens and regenerate all these. 
Now let's go to our IDE, create a secrets file and copy paste these files over here, uh, these keys over there, sorry. So uh, I'll change these keys to do not copy all these. After this video, I'm going to regenerate them. So don't use them and do it for, although we will not require bearer, uh, bearer token, but let's do this as well. Bearer token then the access token. So these are mandatory for the authentication and doing all other stuff with the API. So we have copied these as well. So good. Now just create a Python file and start writing the code. So before we jump into writing the code, we have to install a package called tweepy, pip install tweepy. So I've already installed it, so it won't take any time for me, but it may take a few seconds for you. So mm -hmm. requirements already satisfied. Requirements are already satisfied, okay. So import the module, import tweepy. So importing is at Twitter. Now I'll also want uh, my secrets. Now I also want date time module and I also want time module. I'll show you why I want, want these. Now I want to authenticate uh, myself with the Twitter API. So Twitter OAuth handler, I need to pass in the API key to it. Why it's not picking yeah, secrets dot api key and secrets dot api secret key now using this auth object we'll be setting our access token that is auth dot set access token and we'll pass in the access token and the secrets dot secret access token to it now once this is done we'll be creating the api object which will be like this p twitter dot api and then we'll pass the authentication so we'll be authenticated to our uh, twitter api now we'll be creating a function called bot and we'll pass a list of hashtags to it which will contain the the words or the hashtag that we want to search over twitter now inside this function we'll run an infinite loop because we want to do the process continuously and then we'll also print every time the the you know tweet is being fetched from the twitter api so we'll print the date time as well date time date time dot now the current time and then i'll traverse over the hashtag in hashtags and then we fetch tweets from the you know from the from twitter using the twitter api so we have a mod in this module twitter mod tweepy module we have a class called cursor so we'll use that class to fetch and fetch the tweets. So for every tweet that we will fetch from this Twitter dot cursor, we'll use a function called API search to search queries, which will be the hashtag every time. And then we'll be processing the re uh, responses. So request responses per page will be, I'll keep it 10. And then out of those 10, I'll only consider five at a time. So this is how the things work. Now, whatever tweet that you will fetch from the Twitter API is not exactly JSON. So we need, in order to use it ahead, we need to convert it to JSON first of all. So I'll fetch the ID from this tweet. So let's type cast it to it, tweet.json. And then let's fetch the ID. So it's not exactly JSON, but it is similar to that. So we type casted it to dictionary in order to fetch the keys out of it. Then we'll uh, extract out the text out of it of the tweet text so we have the ID of the tweet we have the text of the tweet tweet now the two things that we want to do is we want to we want to retweet that particular tweet and we want to like it so we'll do it like this API dot retweet ID and API dot create favorite ID we are done so let's print it as well the id tweet id and let's print the text as well tweet text okay 
so we are done here now what you have to do is it may be possible so there is a issue when we cannot retweet a retweeted tweet so if a tweet is already retweeted we cannot retweet it so let's handle such kind of errors in a try accept block so let's catch any accept so accept twitter dot tweet error as e and then we'll we'll print the reason for that okay we are done now inside this uh, for loop we'll after fetching a sing after fetching the tweets we'll be giving a delay basically so time dot sleep for 10 seconds in order to like for example so the you know the twitter api will will may may detect us as malicious activity so that's why we'll give a sleep of 10 seconds and we are done actually we just have to call the bot function passing in a list of some tags now let's go to our twitter account first of all let's do some so this is my twitter account and so let's tweet something test tweet hashtag um aid covid 19 retweet so this is the tweet that i'll i have posted now i'll pass in aid covid 19 retweet so this is the tag i'll be passing in now it will automatically retweet that and like it as well so that it will help us to increase its reach i hope we'll not you know come so it is fetching the tweet and the text of the tweet is this now it will try to do it again and again because we are running in a while loop so you will see an another error that retweeted tweet cannot be tweeted again okay so we'll stop it here and go and check so you will see if i click on this you will see it has already liked and it has been retweeted retweeted by us only and liked by us only so i hope you got the idea how the things are going to work with this so i hope you might have enjoyed the video and learned something from it so do like the video and do share it with your friends it will help them to add a project in their resume as well and please if you can help anyone keeping yourself safe so do take that initiative and uh, stay safe stay healthy stay at home bye bye take care